I've got some of my skulls here. I've got the same bones painted uh, the same color across all these skulls. So the blue is the same bone as it is in this vervet monkey and the cat and then the raccoon and a possum. So the, the same bones are the same color all across these. Um, I'll just go through some of the bones and a little bit about them. On the human here, this orange is the squamosal, or uh, I guess it's temporal in humans, squamosal and other animals. And right there is the opening to the inner ear. And the jaw would, um, the bottom jaw, I don't have them on any of these, would be um, articulating right in there. And the green would be the parietal, and that major part of the brain case. The blue would be the frontal. And in primates, it the frontal comes down and actually touches the uh, this yellow bone, the, the jugal, to enclose the eye orbit. You can see in the vervet monkey the same thing. And the cat, it almost it almost meets it, it encloses almost encloses the eye orbit, and that just gives them better gives the animals better vision. It gives more space for mu muscles to attach and to move the eye around. And the red be the maxillary that holds the teeth up to the canine. So the last tooth in the maxillary is the canine. You can see it really well here in the opossum. The uh, canine is always the last tooth of the maxillary. Most of these maxillary teeth have fallen out for some reason or other. And then we have yellow is the premaxillary. That holds the incisors. And uh, the brown would be the nasal. So black bone is the lacrimal. So you can just kind of see how similar all these bones are across all these animals. I just thought it was kind of cool. So I painted these and I don't know, I was just kind of amazed by how how similar the, the bones were across all these different species. And even I've got alligator skull back here. And it's very similar. I'll compare it to let's see. A coyote. Very similar. It just has an extra bone right there. The I think it's a prefrontal. Don't remember what that little bone right there is called, that extra one. And then we got the quadrate, yeah, the quadrate bone right there, that's extra as well. So very, very similar to the mammals. And the, the opossum actually is a marsupial, so it's got a few different features than the uh, mammals right there. Those two little uh, holes are different. And just kind of the general shape, but the same bones are still there. So you can see that, and I'll compare the uh, opossum to the vervet monkey. You can see it's like kind of the distinctive feature of primates with their large brain case. Compare that to the opossum with its tiny little brain. And the much shorter face, so the the maxillary is not nearly as long. The whole face is just kind of flattened and it's really that way in humans. You can see compare a human to the vervet monkey. How the, the face in the human is even flatter than in the monkey. So that's my painted skulls. Thanks for watching.